now bonding from London. London. very much a conceptual thing for quite a long time. Like we would just uh, rehearse once every four months. And, then, and obviously we were really busy with Pre, you know, our, our old band. Over time we actually started actually started to do male bonding and like uh, it, it became quite, you know, as as important to us, you know, as anything else we were doing and it kind of ended up taking over. So I think this that's the whole thing about this band actually, um, sort of starting to realise that um, yeah, even though we kind of wrote the music in pre, like kind of collectively, or, yeah, we were very much like we could quite easily step back, you know, like Akiko was such a like yeah physical presence, like yeah. So like when we started male bonding, like it was all three of us just, I mean, we knew each other well enough, you know, like it wasn't like our first band or anything, so that cut out a lot of like kind of unnecessary kind of teething, and we just sort of just dived into it, and none of us had really taken a forward role in like singing before. Even such an outrightly uh, forward role in, in writing songs, you know, like before it's always like kind of just sort of woven together and now we're kind of actually just, you know, writing songs. So that was the challenge really and like we, we had no rules when we started, like when we started all three of us started singing, like we just tried to see who sounded better or, or you know, or quite often like who came up with the singing first, you know, and it just kind of moulded from there. We didn't make a conscious effort to like move away from anything we'd done before, it's just I think we just... It kind of came pretty naturally, to be honest. I think the key thing about the music of our band is the drums. The way Robin plays uh, forced our songs definitely, and like John is very much the kind of main. I'd say he, at the moment he comes up, you know, more and more he's coming up with the, the bulk of the songs or bulk of the kind of material that ends up being the songs. But yeah, it kind of all worked around the drums, and I think those kind of rhythms and that kind of the way that Robin plays kind of like made our sound, you know, and like the way we we were just kind of sing to that we would like kind of play bass to that we were kind of like the guitar you know all kind of on an equal platform like the drums are up there with like any bass lines you know and, like kind of just sort of all served each, each other um but now i think it's kind of changing i think we're kind of like sort of suddenly we're writing lyrics and stuff like that that are kind of mean stuff <laughs> what's that all about <laughs> do you feel like you have any kind of specific approach to, pl to playing Bass. Do you think of it as some as sort of a melodic instrument, or sort of, or rhythm, or both? Or yeah, I mean, I I kind of caught between two things. Like, I like for it to be, like, you know, in this band, I'm able for it to be like a, a melodic instrument, like especially with the drums. Like Robin's drums, like create like, uh, kind of create like a space for me to like kind of, um, yeah, perhaps do something vaguely m melodic, or, um. And the same with John's guitar, like, we're so used to working together like that, that I tend to like weave in and out of his guitar. But that said, a lot of our songs, are, I'm kind of just serving, like, you know, I'm pretty much like, you know, playing simple, rooty bass lines in order to have a good chorus sound good. You know, like, I just kind of don't want to overcomplicate it, you know, if it's, if John comes up with like a, a, a decent piece of music and singing, then I'm just going to go underneath it, you know, or, you know, lift it or something. So I'm kind of trying to balance the two. I want to keep it interesting, but also like, you know, sort of respect, you know, the kind of music of it as well. have this kind of inbuilt kind of like mutual kind of idea about like you know how things should sound and how fast they should sound or whatever and it's just like just we'd always end up saying like should we try it again a bit faster and like it would always end up to be a bit faster and, and we felt that felt right but like you know I think we need to 
change that, you know. So keep, yeah, keep speeding everything up. Maybe we just need to slow it down. We've written quite a few new songs already since since the um, since the album, and um, yeah, they're not necessarily like of a fast tempo for the sake of like it feeling good and fast. You know, we're kind of putting a bit more work into the structure and like um, kind of melody. gravitated to like you know Dalston and East London um, you know it's quite a vibrant place to live it's quite cool like when we actually started there was less there's kind of less of a community like in that terms of the amount of bands that we kind of did things with like at, at the beginning there was like two or three of us you know like us pens graffiti island and um, and yeah, it was parties, and it was us just us setting up our own shows that were in kind of not not such conventional venues, whatever. And then as as we progress, and as things have gone on, and as we've signed to Sub Pop, it's really it's really built up. You know, everyone's doing stuff. You know, like coincidentally, and um, and you know, like our own label as well. Like we kind of like that. You know, we kind of built with that as well. So uh, so so being on tour is kind of I feel like we're kind of in a way like. You know, if we ever do interviews or radio shows or anything, I feel like we're kind of exporting this kind of thing. You know, like this, this stuff that's going on in London, you know, and you know, or in England even. Like, you know, it's really cool actually. Like, I don't really get much time to stop and think about it, but like myself and John and Robin, like, we're always, I've always been very impressed with that kind of American sense of community in terms of music, in terms of underground music, and the smell like typified that. Like, and for us when we were in pre, it was so amazing to play the smell. Still, still like one of the best gigs that we've ever played um, and so to actually be in a sort of almost without realizing it in a similar position in our own country and um, it's kind of where we want to be it's kind of it's really it's really cool that it's worked out like that you know to be honest it's quite funny because like we yeah we did this split seven with ourselves graffiti island rapid youth and old blood so it's like two uk bands two american bands and someone at sub pop like emailed asking I think they were asking if we had any plans to license it in the States or something and we were like no nah. uh, you know we just thought this is like an intern at a record label it's like a... and then I think it kind of le then led to like oh it's a shame because we really like it here and we were like what <laughs> and then we started talking more and then suddenly we were kind of yeah on some point and um, we have this like kind of work ethic you know we feel like well if we're gonna if we have the opportunity to tour and and bring this music to everyone we're gonna do it you know it's not it, we're quite lucky you know like to be able to do that if we survive <laughs> you know it's we you know we're soft english people you know it's like it's uh, it's quite hard but like no we're, we're gonna you know as soon as we come off this tour we're going away to uk we're touring uk and going to europe which again is a new kind of thing for us which is obviously bizarre considering we're on the doorstep of Europe and we live in, in London, but like we've never really bothered with England before in pre, you know, we just went to America on our holiday from work, you know. So yeah, it's definitely more of a uh, sort of serious thing and we're going to give it all, our all, you know. We're not like an out and out pop band, so it's like we have to like kind of work it, you know, and try and, I don't know, make a noise. You know? 